Before we move on to the formal column method for subtraction, just a quick word about how we refer to the digits according to their place value. Here we have 53, take away 37. We start with the 1's column, 3 take away 7. We can't do that because 7 is bigger than 3. So we need to take 1 from the next column, the 10's column. So we're making that 50 into 40. And that 10 that we've taken gets added onto the 3 to make 13. What we do know here is that 5 represents 50 and the 4 represents 40. Sometimes it's quicker and more efficient just to refer to the digit on its own. So we would say 3 take away 7, we can't do that, so we're going to take 1 from the next column. We're going to take 1 away from the 5 to make it 4, and we put the 1 in front of the 3 to make 13. As we start working with bigger numbers throughout this video, you'll see why that's a much more efficient way of looking at it. Here's the first one to try. On the right hand of the screen, as you look at it, I've put in the partitioning method, the method that we used in the last video. We're not going to be discussing that in this video, but it's there for your reference in case you need to look at how the numbers work and how the partitioning method progresses into the formal column method. With the formal column method, we start with the ones column and we say 3 take away 5. And straight away you can see we can't do that because 3 is smaller than 5. So we need to take 1 from the next column. That 4 will become a 3. And the 1 we took away goes in front of the 3 to make 13. Now we can say 13 take away 5 and that's 8. And 3 take away 2, that's 1. The answer is 18. This is one for you to try. Pause the video, have a go. In the 1's column we have 4 take away 7. We can't do that, so we're going to take 1 from the 6. Make that 5, and now that 4 becomes 14. 14 take away 7 is 7, and 5 take away 3 is 2. The answer is 27. For this one we have a 3 digit number, subtract a 2 digit number. It works exactly the same. The 1's column, 5 take away 4, that's 1. The next column, 5 take away 6, we can't do that, so we take that 1 from the next column and put it into this one, and that 5 becomes 15. 15 take away 6, that's 9, and because we have no other digits to work with, we've reached our answer, 91. Here's a similar one for you to try. Pause the video, have a go. 9 take away 8, that's 1. 2 take away 4, we can't do that, so we take the 1 from the red column, put it in the blue column. 12 take away 4, that's 8. And because we have no other digits to work with, the answer's 81. This time we're taking a 3 digit number away from a 3 digit number. First column, 5 take away 4 is 1. 0 take away 6. We can't do that, so we're going to take from the next column. We're going to make that 4 3 and put the 1 we've taken into the middle column. 10 take away 6 is 4. 3 take away 2 is 1. That's 141. And here's one for you to try. Pause the video, have a go. Starting with the 1's column, 3 take away 1, that's 2. Next one, 0 take away 8, we can't do that. So we take 1 away from that 7 to make it 6, and this now becomes 10. 10 take away 8, that's 2. And 6 take away 4, that's 2. 222. 